the next game finds San Diego at Boston. The Chargers beat the Patriots on the West Coast, but the Pats have come a long way since then. The Chargers strike like lightning as quarterback John Hadle crosses up the Patriots' hard-charging defense with this screen pass to Lance Allworth. The biggest Boston crowd since 1964 watches as the all-league flanker goes all the way on a 42-yard scoring play. And after one period, the Chargers lead 7 to nothing. But Boston has some of the same as Larry Garron loses himself in traffic, then gets behind a San Diego linebacker and Perilli connects. Garron moves right out for 53 yards, and the game is tied 7-7. The next time the Patriots get the ball, Babe Perilli engineers another drive goalward. His pass to Jim Whalen that's 25 yards and gives Boston a first down deep in Charger territory. On third and nine, the Babe uses his fullback, Jim Nance, as a pass receiver. Nance gains 10. Perilli polishes off this drive with a pass to Gino Cavalletti for the go-ahead touchdown. Besides being the league's outstanding place kicker, Gino is a talented receiver as well. After Tom Addison dumps Paul Lowe for a loss, Ron Hall makes a key interception of this Hadel to Keith Lincoln pass. Hall falls short of the end zone, but Boston is in great field position. Larry Garron follows number 76, Charlie Long, into the end zone, and the Patriots are again in the driver's seat, leading 21 to 17 after three periods. The blocking up front has been great, and Babe Perilli loves every second of it. He has plenty of time to connect with Larry Garron, and Larry does the rest. The high-stepping halfback goes another 53 yards for his third touchdown of the game. They say a hard-charging line is the best pass defense. Here's a perfect example of what happens when John Hadle doesn't have time to set up. All-pro Nick Bonacotti grabs off this hurried pass and makes like a fullback for 41 yards. The interception gives Boston a chance to wrap up the ball game. Jim Nance plows in for the touchdown, and the Patriots are in the lead 35-17. to Late in the fourth quarter, Boston quarterback John Heward is given a chance at the control. His pass, intended for J.D. Garrett, winds up in the arms of a talented spectator, and away he goes. It climaxes a wild afternoon of football as the Patriots gain sweet revenge with a 35-17 to decision and move to within one-half game of first place.